Okay, now we all know AI is everywhere. Now your toaster probably has an AI feature, but it doesn't mean you cannot have it offline on your computer. Now there's three main AI types. One that is your local AI trained on your local documents that you have on your own hard drive. The second one is large models like uh, Grok, Gemini, that kind of stuff that do only wordy stuff and programming and all that good stuff. And then you have the third, the multimedia AI that you can generate pictures, videos, no songs. All these three I have right here. And unlike I've seen so many videos that everybody tries to make it as complicated as possible, it doesn't need to be complicated. You need literally zero lines of code in this video to install all these three AI models. All three can work offline with exception of the initial download, of course, and all of them can be done by your grandma. You don't need to go to lines of code and a pseudo update and oh no you don't need none of that forget about all that just executable files i have gpd for all lm studio and comfy ui now if you want to do the complicated stuff you can if you want to that's up to you in this video i'm not going to give you anything complex you don't need to do any python or anything that is not done directly from the AI itself. This is LM Studio. I will leave a link to it. This is your local AI toolkit. As Llama, DeepSea, Quen, Fi, all on your local PC. You can download it for Windows right here. This is GPT for all. This is something that is completely yours, meaning you download it and you train it on your own books, your own documents, your own stuff without ever connecting it to the internet after the this initial download and you write stuff based on what you already have you do not need to go on github and get repositories and get all that kind of stuff and the third one will be comfy ui comfy ui i have a big big deal of problems that a lot of channels are making it for the science buffs no dude when you make a video telling the general folk how to install this in their computer, point them to a website right here, click download, you get either for Windows, Mac, or GitHub. Now, GitHub, yes, there is some advantages that you can make it portable and all that BS, complete BS. Just download the Windows version and install it. It will actually guide you to whatever you want and whatever it needs by itself without you having to go right here and God, you get lost in the weeds so fast here. I'm telling you right now. And this video is oriented to the general people. Friends of mine, family of mine, people that I know are not going to write a single line of code. That is it. Now, with that in mind, let's start them off. And uh, let's start from the basic local AI that will be trained in my own documents so now while this uh, goes to town trading on these local books we're gonna check the other one and come back when this is uh, ready look it goes through all of them does the embedding does all that so in a couple minutes this should be much ready for us to actually go to town and study on those books and create new stuff from those so that's actually cool now while this is cooking we're going to go to LM Studio. This one is with uh, langu large language models, whatever you want to call that. And as I said in the beginning, all these apps that you see here are installed next, 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 and that's it. All the prompts that you might need to add or install or additional stuff that's needed will be prompted or asked to click next. That's all. And now here on LM Studio, for example, this is actually really cool because in here you can start chats. You can create a new chat. But if you go right here, this uh, my models is what I have right now. Grok, Quen, Dolphin. <laughs> I highly suggest to check Dolphin. Uh, Gemma, which is Gemini, 3 and 2, 27B and 12B. And if you go here, Discover, that's where you can actually download anything that you might uh, think about 
all kinds of chat GPT and all the good stuff. For example, uh, Claude from Anthropic. Claude. Yeah, Claude is right here. Sonnet, Reasoning, and it is 12 gigabytes. I'm going to download it just because why not, right? And uh, it will take at 360 megabytes bit, per second. It'll download in a few minutes, looks like. Five minutes for uh, 12 gigabytes. But that, of course, depends heavily on your speed of internet. Don't, don't look at it here. But let's do a quick chat here. Let me choose one that I already have downloaded. Let me go to Quinn. Or, yeah, Quinn should be perfect for this one. I'm going to leave GPU of load 28 out of 28. Context is pretty good. Number of tokens the model can attend to in one prompt. And uh, let it load here really quick. These are all offline. These are not based online right now. And all these models that I'm showing you here, all these apps and chats and all this is 100% free, open source, and unlimited. You and your computer are the only limits here. There's no limited prompts and pay extra for this or do this at all. So, for example, here we are on Quinn. And uh, let me ask Quinn to do something, I guess. I don't know. For example, make me and make me a compelling argument why humanity is looking at the wrong places for energy sources and why the so-called renewables aren't renewable or sustainable hit enter and boom here's misalignment with sustainability look at that this is all free yeah this is inside my machine right now i'm not being based on any external server or someone else's computer or any other things look at that for example uh write me a simple program on let me do it on json probably it's easier that is a calendar and a schedule with editable input windows for scheduling by the day of the week and it automatically captures it as a task and enter boom look at that this is all local right now inside this computer and it's right in the whole task and all that i just asked for look at and it tells me <laughs> Even how to run it on Python. Third one. While this one is still, you know, doing its own thing, it's a little bit slower, but you are training it on your local files. And I put quite a lot of books on it. 18 books to be precise. So yeah, it'll take a minute. But let me go to the third one right here. Comfy UI. Now this, as I said, I have quite a gripe with some uh, video makers that are making this so hard to install and you have to go to, to, to places that are, you know, out of this world on GitHub and get this and type that. No, dude, no, 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 none of that. Just click download next, 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 and that's it. You will arrive right here. Boom, that's it. You see, so if you need something, just like I told you, for example, I need a uh, Python that is required for this one instead of going to github nothing against github but it's not for everybody instead of going to github this year it just gives me a click boom and it does this whole coding thing by itself i don't need to touch it it will do all this stuff by itself and i'm gonna let this one finish real quick and that's it look downloading everything it needs with torch and pytorch and pips and all the good stuff look at that Boom. These packages, I've already had them downloaded within the app itself. But look at that. And these are three. There's quite a few gigabytes. But you know, you need PyTorch. But instead of going to GitHub and dropping lines and installing it in PowerShell and CMD and all that, that gets it confusing and your system might not be compatible. And no, just do this. Just do this, please, for the love of God. Unless you're a programmer, then yeah, you can do the fancy stuff. Then... God bless you. I'm, I'm with you there. But for 99.9% .9 of the people even watching this video, just go this. The XC file will tell you what to install when it needs it. <laughs> That's all you need. And take, take things easy. Life's not a million years. Live it. And when it first opens, 
you'll be landing right here. Now you can just click in any of these and it will download it for you. These are the models. That's all you need. You don't need to be an expert in export and transport and all that stuff. Just cut that crap. You want image to image right here. Image generation right here. Laura for models for specialized styles and all that stuff right here. You want to do videos right here. I would say one vase are is one of the best here. Text to video or you have image to video. Come on. Look at these things. Hunian is pretty good so far. I would say Hunian text to video and image to video. Oh yeah. Let me click it by the way. And now when you click, instead of you having to go to 10 websites and writing anything, it tells you everything you need to download right here. You just click, 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 and you're good. And just like that, we have the models downloaded. So it will be the same stuff as we saw with the music. Yes, I'm recording it from the phone because, yeah, my GPU is going crazy. So we'll uh, let this cook by itself because I'm putting some models that are just a little bit too heavy. You know, just, just a touch too heavy for it to handle. But uh, we'll get right back and show you the results of this video generation. And uh, the beauty of it is that it's uncensored. Yes, I was thinking about it just like you. They're uncensored. A fox moving quickly in a beautiful winter scenery, nature, trees, mountains, daytime tracking camera. And I left this just how it was alone. And uh, here's the video just uh, done inside my computer, not online, not in a different server somewhere else, just generated inside this PC by itself. And just like I said, you can go here and you can browse templates. You can do all kinds of stuff to create uncensored images. Some people might say, I don't know what that means, but just saying or videos or you can do photo to video. It's actually really beautiful. That's what I'm going to say here. And yes, if you write, uh, if you want to generate something better, you can, it's, you know, very easy. And, uh, besides that, well, there's nothing else that I can actually tell you here, except for the books on GPT for all. I don't know what happened to those. If they're fully done yet, as you see, it's embedding right now. Ah, come on, Nvidia. I don't need the overlay. Well, we can go to chats and we can create a new chat or we're going to load a uh, llama really quick, the AB instruct. And, uh, let me ask, since we have books, what did Dante say? about the seventh circle formulate it in simple words and very brief because those books are inside right now look that was very easy and just like that you can choose if you have other things going on this is still updating you can choose another one if you want to so it's that that easy if you have other libraries, for example, this one has books, but let's say you have, I don't know, old newspapers, you have your own documents. I don't know what kind of documents you might have. And you can use this uh, AI like your personal assistant. That's actually beautiful. That's all I can tell you. And yes, the uh, links will be down on the description. So you can just download them and install them and just everything you saw here. Very easy. As you saw, there is nothing uh, hard about it. You don't need to write a single line of code, not even a word of code. You just go ahead, write up and that's it and besides that there's nothing else i can tell you it's actually that easy it's it's almost scary easy at this point to own your own local ai stuff so you have the lm studio gpt for all and comfy ui now pinocchio used to work i have no idea why it is not working at least for a month now there's no chance i can make it work anymore but hey you don't need it you have everything you need in these so with well, that said, please like and subscribe and we'll see you next time. Bye.